Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I'm looking at an application launcher for Android called Claystone, which has a sort of 3D animated effect here. So you've got a home screen here that you can use as a typical app launcher, launch any uh, applications that are available on your Android device. Device. You can zip back and forth between open views here. There's a custom contact manager. And you can also access that by hitting the button here at the bottom. Um, but what's really interesting is you see this bar here up at the top. And what this is, is if you go into photos or videos or some other media content, let's find some photos on the camera. It'll add little icons to the top row here, and then you can zip between them as well by tapping on them. Um, now, it also shows widgets here, which honestly, it's not the best way to do widgets that I've ever seen. You can see that we've got one widget here, which does not take up the whole screen, and it's not really visible from the home screen. So, I'm um, not convinced that the widgets interface is all that great. Uh, doesn't look like we have any sort of zoom or anything. Now, another interesting thing here is, so we can close these, we can close the pictures, close the widgets, and so forth. Actually, this widget doesn't want to close. But, you can tap, hold, and remove or rename. Um, there's also a little web browser that when you tap this button you would think oh come on you would think that tapping this button would bring up the default web browser but instead it loads a browser in a sort of window here And it's a fully functional web browser, but sort of a weird way to, to do things instead of launching the default browser. Now, of course, you can go into the apps and launch the browser that way and get to the full browser. So overall, what's interesting about Claystone, I guess, is the customized widget view, the uh, 3D animations when you're flipping between windows, and so forth, um, and this media area up at the top. What's not great is the way that widgets don't necessarily take up the full amount of space, um, and the fact that once things launch, it's pretty quick, but sometimes it can take a little while to actually get an application to launch. Um, there's also a view for currently running applications, and a view for recently launched applications. So, there you go. First look at Claystone. This is Brad Linder with Mobiputing.